Shalom, we are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Karkadash. Double honors to the old apostles, a great millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Hopping straight into it. Uh, the four angels are ready to be loosed. That's the title. All right. Um, and we're only waiting for a couple of more prophecies, man. But the Lord has everybody in position to do what they want, do what they're going to do, on the right side, on the left side, in uh, in this physical realm, right? The play He has on these countries. All right, Revelations nine and fourteen. I'm start with thirteen. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice of the four horns of the golden altar, which is before the Most High saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet loose the four angels which are bound in the great river euphrates the four angels were loose which were prepared for an hour a day and a month and a year to slay a third part of men all right and the number of the army of horsemen should be two hundred thousands thousands and uh and i heard the number of them all right which what goes what all right it's going to start going into what the nukes all right so when the Lord said his spirit is going to be in that fire, <clears throat> all right, I mean, when you read that Joel second chapter, hey, these, these, these missiles ain't going to hit each other. They're not going to miss their target. Uh, like Sirach speaks of when the arrow shot to the ends of the earth, it should not miss. All right. When you read Isaiah, the 13th chapter, all right, the Lord has his control over his weapons of indignation. All right. So the Lord is prepared. All right. These these angels are ready to get down. That's part of the destruction. All right. That, that great destruction is hey, it's going it says it's going to look like a lake of fire. Babylon the Great is going to be obliterated. OK. The Lord knows that hour. The Lord knows that day. He knows that time. All right. Like I said, Habakkuk 2, everything is starting to happen. And before these missiles, these nukes hit, that MOTB has to come. All right. That's the that's the major thing we're waiting on, man. Okay. So these these <laughs> just imagine the angels at the bottom of Euphrates pacing, and they they're literally there. Y'all don't think the Lord got angels running to and for this earth? You out your mind, man? They're there. All right, just imagine your head just pacing back and forth. Whew. It's getting to be that time. Well, why? Well, what's going to happen? The Lord's going to uh, let these angels uh, uh, unleash havoc via that fire. All right, just like the angel in David, hey, he slayed that camp. The Lord had to stay his hand. The Lord is going to let these angels loose. All right? With that, Shalom.